Hey everyone! Today Madison and I are going to show you how to make a sensory bottle. Sensory items are a really big part of our world and have been since Madison has been a little girl. Uh, the reason that I love sensory items is that one, they're really fun, but they're a fun way to help you regulate your emotions and they use the five senses. Touch, sound, and Madison loves these pot bracelets. Smell, we have some really cool uh, kind of, they call it fart glue up here, but it also kind of smells good too. And then <laughs> you can hear that there. And then also uh, taste, which isn't as common. Um, and of course, seeing all these fun things too. Here's another one. So we're gonna show you how to make a sensory bottle today. Before we get into that, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and we do all sorts of fun videos and that way you'll stay in the know. Also at the end, we're gonna share some information on sensory and how it can be helpful for you and, and where you can get more information on that. And we'll also post the links in the details below the video if you click there. All right, let's get started. So for the sensory bottle craft, the great thing about it is it's pretty much just using things for the most part that you have around your house. Uh, we emptied a water bottle. This is also a baby or you pour it into the water bottle then you use all of this. Yes, that's right. So empty a water bottle, take off the wrapper. Then we have a 14 ounce bottle of baby oil. Uh, from Amazon? The, uh, Yes, <laughs> that is from Amazon. You, you can actually use water. There's different things that you can put in it. Uh, so it doesn't have to be baby oil. Uh, water and oil with some food coloring also work, but we just chose to use baby oil because it's a little bit thicker and the stuff move, moves a little bit slower. Now can I get the craft? Yes, yes. So let's go ahead and do the craft. Are you ready? I'm ready to pour this oil. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do to make it easy is we've got a funnel here and we're just gonna take the funnel and stick it into the bottle. No. You ready? Do you want some help opening? Could you please help me? Yes. Oh. Okay, and you might get a little bit messy with this craft, but it's worth it because it's fun. So we're gonna open this and we're gonna pour it in and you'll notice that there'll be a little bit left at the top of room and that's so that it moves around. All right, nice job, Madison. Okay, so now we're all done with our oil and now we can put in the fun stuff. So Madison, you can pick different things that you want to put in your sensory bottle. What do you think you want to use? I'll use all glitters. You want to use the glitters? Okay, which one are you going to use first? Purple's going to be, and then purple's going to be at the bottom. Yes, and whose favorite color is purple? Dad's. Yep, Could Dad and Grammy, so good choice on that. You have all your purple though. Yep, we got a lot yeah, of purple. purple. Here's a fun fact. Royal purple was years ago made. More royal color is purple. This is purple, but it kind of looks like royal purple. Yeah, there's a lot of cool colors on here, huh? And purple is an amazing color. All right. So now we got our purple. What do you want to do next? Oh, cute. All right, you're going to put some blue in. Blue for Sonic. One of your favorite characters? Yeah, what's a purple character? Uh, Grimace? Uh, I would say purple for Grimace. What's another purple character? I would say this is for Blaze. I would say this is for Sonic Natural. And I would say this is for Mario himself. Yeah, Madison loves Sonic. So we're a big Sonic family. I'm gonna make it like the galaxy too. I, I think it's looking pretty cool here. I'm gonna add some pom-poms. All right, good choice. Oh, you know what? I think we might have to get rid of our funnel here for that. So, okay, go ahead. You can put your pom-poms in. And I'll hold on to the funnel for you. 
But it has pom-poms in it. Yeah? Is that enough? You can put as many as you want. It's kind of the cool thing about a sensory bottle. You can put all kinds of different things uh, in it from beads to pom-poms to sparkly glitter and just kind of make something that you really like to see and to move around. Yeah, sensory bottles are really popular these days until they got more or less popular and then there were other unsatisfying sensory crafts, but today it's still popular. And Madison, why do you like sensory things so much? Because they're satisfying. Yeah, they are, right? And do they help you to kind of calm sometimes if you're feeling a little anxious about things? Yeah. Yeah. Very Sticky pretty. of gold, gold is the color of the riches. And pink is the color of the lovers. I love if that. If we combine those colors, we would get the color fruit punch, which is the color for lovers and riches. Do you think you have everything in your bottle that you want? If you were a rich lover, what would you feel like? I'd help out the poor using all my rich money and making it all, I'm all done. Okay, so once we're all done, we just put on the cap. Uh, some people like to use hot glue on the cap uh, just to keep anything from spilling mm -hmm. out. And if you want to do that, you just put it on the outside. Uh, I'm one of those people that uses hot glue and, and usually burns myself. So <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Um, you can also put tape on the outside if you're one of those can people, but you're nervous. Yep. So now that we got the cap mm -hmm. secured, you just kind of dump it. Ooh, and so yeah, satisfying. right? So you can see all the glitter it looks like moving. The galaxy. Here's what it looks like. It does kind of look like the galaxy, doesn't also, it? Also, if you shake it around, it looks like a tornado. Yeah, and you're learning about all that in school too, right? You've learned about all sorts of stuff like that. So it's kind of cool to see it in action. Oh, show it now. Now that all the glitter's in there. So you can see it's really pretty. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. And also, we're learning about manatees and endangered and extinct animals. Yep. So you can kind of think about that too, right? Maybe we'll get some manatee beads or something How to put in it, it the next time. How can it make it look like time. a tornado if it's not spinning fast enough? Well, you could try. Oh! All right. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Make uh, sure to like and subscribe. Yeah. Also hit the notifications bell and click on share and all. with these, but this is from a McDonald's Squishmallow Hut. Yeah, and even the Squishmallows can be a little bit of a sensory thing, right? Because they're fun to squish. And you can also film them too. All well, right, we'll everybody. Try them. Oh, very cool. All right, we'll see you next yeah. time. Yo, pause the vid. I got something to show you. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye everybody. See you next time.